All right, this is uh, Ian Lamont, Sloan Fellow Video Blog, and uh, keeping in with my tradition of changing the backgrounds a little bit each time. Uh, today I'm in kind of a central part of MIT. MIT Medical is right over there, and back there you can see the uh, I Am Pay designed uh, Media Lab, uh, MIT Media Lab building, which I haven't been into yet, but I really will make a definite effort to get in and check it out because that's where some of the most exciting stuff at MIT is taking place in my in my opinion as, as, a, as a news guy and a media guy. Um, actually a lot of the other Sloan fellows are right behind me right there. Uh, they're hearing a tour uh, from an MIT uh, media lab uh, staff member and instructor named uh, Yost. It was an excellent tour because I took it earlier this week. You get to see all parts of the uh, campus, some of the more remarkable architectural features, and uh, just hear a lot of the stories behind it. Because uh, Yost has been here since he was an undergrad in the 1980s. Uh, he knows he, he's a real MIT character, and he really knows a lot of stuff, not just about MIT, but about the surrounding area in Kendall Square. So, if you have a chance to have a tour with Yost, definitely take advantage of it. A couple other things: uh, this this blog, I, I'm having people come up to me in the program uh, and saying, "Oh yeah, you know, I love the video blog." Uh, and I, I don't even know them yet, which is kind of weird. So it's kind of like they know they, they know me and they know my personality. They know about the video blog. They know what I'm going through. Uh, and I'm still trying to get a grip on all of the people here that are here, all the all the great people. I mean, it's just a remarkably diverse set of individuals. Uh, but that's something I'm still getting used to, um, that people, this video blog is very uh, visible. Um, and a lot of people seem to enjoy it. That's a, they say it at least. So it's a pleasure to meet you all. And I'm looking forward to meeting more of you over the year. If you have any suggestions for the video blog, definitely let me know about that uh, because I would like to improve it. Um, one other, one last weird thing, and then I'll get into what we've been doing for the past couple of days. Even a, a program administrator came up to me today and said they'd seen the video blog and, and they like it too. They saw the Thompson Island episode where my where my eyes were all uh, around it were all white and the rest of my face was uh, sunburned um, from that outing to Thompson Island. And uh, so it's getting a bigger audience, which is cool. I'd like to improve it, I'd like to keep it going even as the, uh, the school year gets uh, tougher and tougher. So a lot of things happened just in the past couple of days and the theme of this episode is paperwork. So uh, the first thing was yesterday we received our 360 assessments and these were surveys that we had uh, peers and managers and direct reports and customers fill out uh, in the in previous months and we got the survey data back yesterday. It came in the form of a nearly a 50 page report which had a lot of uh, data points to, to get through. And it was all really interesting stuff, and I'm still getting through it. Uh, but simultaneously, we're also doing a lot of reading, and um, we're reading all this Walmart case material. Just to give you an example of how, how much it is, uh, this is this is a packet of a Walmart case material. Uh, I've read a little bit, of, little bit of it, but I still have to read a lot more, as does everybody else in the program, because uh, we have some presentations. Uh, we have a, It's called a Walmart uh, case study deep dive have to really dig into this to these case materials and our uh, learning groups have to take a focus um, and kind of make a presentation based around put a framework around this focus and it might be uh, you know customer issues it could be uh, shareholder values it could be uh, deal, uh, the way NGOs uh, view Walmart and its sustainability efforts but there's a lot of material to get through and um, you know we just received this big stack yesterday I was reading other case materials last night, so I haven't had a chance to really get into this. So this weekend, uh, myself and everybody else in this group is just gonna be spending a lot of time reading because this is a lot of material. And um, it's, it's definitely tough, uh, but we're, as a group, we're figuring out some ways to deal with the volume of paperwork and kind of, you know, con each one of us will concentrate on key areas while giving a lighter read to other areas, but um, it's still gonna be challenging. And the other thing that's happening is that you know, even as they give us this and, all right, we might read through it this weekend, I know that next week we're going to get even more stuff to read about Walmart, about other cases, and it's just never going to be ending. And this is part of the firehose concept. You know, the flow of information is, uh, it's amazing, it's wonderful to drink from it, but at the same time, it's hard to keep up with it. And in fact, if you don't keep up with it, I think, I mean, if you get behind, it's, it's going to be really difficult to catch back up. Um, and I have special sympathy for the international fellows who don't have English as a native language, you know, they they have to they have to read through something that's extra difficult for them, you know, often with the dictionary, and it can be really tough for them. So, you know, the, the motto of the Sloan Fellows Program is uh, no fellow left behind. I think all of us are dedicated to helping each other out uh, when needed uh, to understand a concept or a term, or uh, you know, just work it out so we can all get through this this thing. But the 
the first week has definitely been intense, and it's going to get even more intense as the time goes on. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. We're working really hard, and the last thing I'd like to say is that we like to play hard, too. And um, we saw that on Thompson Island a little bit uh, with some of the activities and uh, the stuff that we did. Uh, that was it was games with a purpose, uh, but also on Friday af on Friday afternoon, uh, there's a tradition that the that has existed with previous Sloan Fellows classes, and that is to uh, go to a, a campus bar called the Muddy and hang out there on Friday afternoon after classes have ended. I'm going to partake in that right now along with some of the other fellows, grab a beer, then get home, and then get reading. So until next time, Sloan Fellows video blog with your host Ian Lamont, and I'll see you next week.